The pandemic has shifted the way many students learn from having classes over Zoom to submitting homework online. It's been an adjustment for most, and inmates at the Monroe County Jail are no different. Allie Peters got to go inside the jail today to speak with an inmate about he's continued to learn despite challenges with COVID. Ellie, what can you tell us? Yeah, I had the opportunity to speak with a 19 year old inmate inside the jail today, and he stressed to me the importance of inmates continuing to learn during this time. Now, the pandemic has made that slightly more difficult, but the inmate tells me he's thankful for all those who have stepped up to help. We've been trying. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little hard. Getting an education inside a jail during a pandemic can be tough. Some of the teachers, how you say, it, um, haven't shown up to class. At the start of the pandemic, teachers were dropping off homework for inmates and picking it up a few days later. Eventually, learning shifted to Zoom, but instead of being able to connect with teachers every day, inmates like Miguel often have to wait a couple days. We'd like to see more of the teachers. Some of us um, tend to think that if the teachers were there, it would help a little more because like, sometimes we get stuck and frustrated with the work, and sometimes people just like... Uh, they like feel like they have to give up because they can't do it. COVID-19 making a tough situation even tougher. It is fair to say that you're challenged enough when you're already incarcerated and you're trying to work through educational situations as well as your, your legal situation um, to have everything going on around you. So compound that with the fact that they also can't go and do their court appearance in person. They're doing that through a Zoom. Their attorney's not even sitting right there next to them. Their attorney's Zooming in. But there's also been a lot of people stepping up to help inmates learn. It's a few devs that tend to help us a lot. They help us when they can, you know. So I'm just appreciative that they do. The Rochester City School District also also donating tablets to make learning easier. It's a team effort and something the jail says is part of their mission. If anybody in here raises their hand and says, I would like help. It doesn't matter if it's with school, if it's with addiction, if it's with an anger management issue, whatever you have, we will get all the training that you need to try and help you succeed with that. Now the jail is in the process of getting teachers from the Rochester City School District back into the jail for in-person learning, but there is a lot of planning that goes into that. Now inmates will still have to stay in small groups, so there's less risk of COVID spreading. Live in Rochester, Allie Peters, News 8. Hi.